Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another review. And the piece of gear that I'm going to be reviewing today is going to be Uncle Vernon's Tube Light. So why don't I bring in the camera closer so we can give this little piece of gear a thorough look over. Now that I have you in close, I will remind you that there will be a link in the description to Tube Light's website so you can check out all the technical specs of this particular model. This is their 6-inch model tube light, as well as the other variations that they have with their glow-in-the-dark material. Uh, they have some flexible pads, they have bars, they have orbs, they even have dust, glow-in-the-dark dust for you DIYers out there. Also, there will be an, an Amazon sponsored link in case you decide to pick up one of your own, and that helps out them as well as Bug Out Boys as well. But this is how it comes to you. There actually is a little lanyard chain here that I replaced uh, with some paracord myself, but that's it. And very, very simple. So, and that goes right into my first positive is a very, very simple thing. It's a bar with glow in the dark material in it with a lanyard hole. And I decided to go with this because it gives me 360 degrees of light, as well as this slips into your Molly loops very easily. So, positives there. It's also a nice rugged construction. I mean, you're you're not gonna break it. Don't worry about dropping it. You're not gonna do anything with it. It's also simple to use. Put it out in the sunlight, or shine a flashlight on it, or buy a normal incandescent light, and it charges up, and then it slowly loses its charge. But when I say slowly, it's about 10 plus hours, and I can attest to this because I've had this in my hammock in not direct sunlight. And there's not a time that I have not woken up in all of the deep dark nights that I have on my bug out trips that this thing is not putting out a little bit of ambient light. And I'm able to actually see my hands in my hammock. So very simple to use, rugged construction, will not die. The material will not degrade over time like your radioactive materials will slowly degrade. And it's inexpensive. This is just $7. Lots of great positives right there. Now towards the negatives. The negatives are is that you will need light to make it have light. That being said, the ambient light that's just been coming in here, I had this in my pack in the dark. If I just do this, you can see that it is already glowing just from that. So it, but it will never ever be as bright as a chem light. Another negative. But other than those two things, needing light to give it light, and it will diminish over time, as well as not being as bright as a chem light, those are the only two negatives that I have for this particular piece of gear. I'd rather have some light than no light. And that's what I think of the tube light. And to be honest with you, it's been a little bit of an unsung hero in my pack. I got it, I put it in there, it hangs up in my hammock, I forget about it. And I'm really glad I was able to show it to you and give it its day. So if you enjoyed this review, please do subscribe because it's going to be more reviews, bots, pioneer preps, talk in the woods, and bug out boy episodes along the way. And if you have any questions or comments about the tube light, please don't hesitate to leave those down in the comment section below because I love to read them and you know I'll get back to you. So till then, take care.